Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the most important thing that you people might face when copying the pictures from PowerPoint to the Word file. Now you can see that I'm going to show you the typical default format, a typical default saving format for the PowerPoint is 90 DPI's, but in fact we need or the requirements by the journal is around 300 DPI's or 600 DPI's or more than this one. So now when you can, I zoom in this picture, as you can see that the color is too blur and not too vibrant. So when I drag this comparison picture which I exported in 600 DPI's but just changing small things in the PowerPoint and the settings, you can see the main difference between the both pictures. Now how to do this? Now when you save a normal picture, I will show you how you can do this. So I'm just going to take this as a reference image and go to file and then export and save as a PNG image. So when you save this as a PNG image, the normal default uh, saving format for Microsoft PowerPoint is 90 DPI's. And I will show you how it looks like when you save this picture. So once you are done with this one, we can just simply minimize and I will just go to the source location which I already created. So now you can see that these are the files for the 90 DPI's. I will show you how you can do for the 600 DPI. Now, when I open this image, you can see that this image looks like this and you may not zoom, cannot be, will not be able to zoom more than this uh, point. So this is the maximum point you can zoom because these are 90 DPI's and you cannot go further than, than this one. But in fact, when we are publishing and when we are writing the manuscripts, we need high graphics and we need more resolutions so that they can be more prominent and they can be more easily to read. Now, click on Windows button and type in the command regit it. Once you do that, a new window will open and you can see these options. So now go to H key current user. Now then go to software then click on Microsoft and then click on office. Now you can scroll down and you can find an office option down below. Now once you click on the office, you have two different options, 15.0 and 16.0. For latest version, can use 16.0 and for lower versions, you can use depending upon your Microsoft version. If you are using 2016, then you can use 15.0. Now go to the PowerPoint options and then click on options. So now once you click on PowerPoint, you will see an options category. Once you click on this one, this window will open. Now right click over here and then click on new and then select 32 bit value. Do not select 64 one. Now type here export bitmap bit map resolution. Now I will also type down in the text. Make sure you write exactly the same way it's written as shown in my screen. Now. Once you go here, you can see this one is updated. Now select on decimal and now you can click on the value data as much you want. You want 600 DPI's, click on 600. If you want 900 DPI's, you can select 900 DPI's. So now once we are back here, now I'll show you the same format. I'm going to save this image, but rather now this will be saved in a higher quality, which is 600 DPI's. You can also see the difference by the image size and image file size. Now once I save in PNG, I will take you to back to the location where I save these files. 600 DPI file size is 1 MB and the 90 DPI file size is 95 KB. Now let's compare these images. Uh, I will just go in a bit and I will zoom and you can see that the pixels are already getting broken. Now I will open the 600 DPI file also and I will also compare both of these images. Now you can see that these both images are open. The left hand side is the 90 DPI and the right hand side is the 600 DPI. I'm just going to zoom in a specific uh, portion so that you can see the comparison between both of them. Now I'm going to zoom in, in the 600 DPI file size. I didn't zoom completely, I just zoomed at the same level. But you can see the difference and the difference in the color and the per dot uh, graphic that you can see. Now you can see that this is more clear and more uh, uh, the boundaries and everything. The color is prominent, the shape is prominent, the the color and the text is also you can see there is no there is no blurring in the text and there is no blurring in the graphic. You can see that they are pure colors and everything is uh, to the point and exactly that you see in the Microsoft PowerPoint version. So this is an easier way how you can make your default 90 DPI to 600 DPI for better graphics for your Microsoft presentations. I hope this video you might find it helpful for your studies and for also your research and uh, I hope you guys do this and make your graphics more easier because a lot of people say that they cannot export in high graphics and high graphic content and instead they have to make in some other software. So remember PowerPoint can also do this. So I hope you guys like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe my channel and till then take care Allah Hafiz.